Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Have you ever wondered why when I'm doing my videos and I log into my art system with the awesome wallpaper, I always have just the standard awesome wallpaper, the default awesome wallpaper that comes with awesome window manager. Well, it's not that it can't be changed. It's that I just didn't bother changing it. So there are several ways to change it. Most people, when they're running the awesome window manager, they will download from the repositories a third party software application program that puts wallpaper in that you can use it to uh, adjust your wallpaper or change your wallpaper. But you don't have to install a third party application. You can just change the configuration file and put whatever wallpaper you want in. And today I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's get to it. So I'm in my Arch Linux virtual machine with the awesome window manager. And I'm going to show you how to change the configuration file to put whatever wallpaper you want in there. So I'm going to go into the terminal. I'm just going to use my mouse so you can see what I'm doing. Now, if you installed my Zesh configuration file, all you have to do is type in this command. Uh, config. Oh, sorry, wrong command. Uh, theme. And you can see, let's go to the top. So this is the top. If you scan down, these are where the wallpapers are. So, first of all, you have to have another wallpaper in your home directory. And I know there are some wallpapers in my home directory. So I'm just going to go to uh, another workspace. I'm going to open up Xterm, make it larger. Let's do an LL. And let's let's do an LS. Let's get so we won't see the hidden files. So I have three wallpapers here. And my highlight's not working. There it is. I have three wallpapers here. Dark Canyon, City, and Arch Linux Simply Black. Now, if you downloaded my whole repository from GitLab, you will have these three wallpapers. Or you can go somewhere else and get the wallpapers. You can download wallpapers from the internet or some wallpapers you may have on your saved on a hard drive somewhere. So I'm going to put in city JPEG. So let's go back to the other workspace. And now these wallpapers that are commented out, they have two dashes in front of them. They're deactivated. And if you want to activate them, you have to delete the dashes. And of course, you have to have the wallpapers installed. So I'm going to type in this command. Oops. Theme. Wallpaper. Equals. Squiggly dash. City JPEG. And that's it. Now I'm just going to hit enter just to leave a space. Now I'm gonna, you have to comment out the first one. That's the default wallpaper. So I'm going to put two dashes there and it turns blue and that comments it out. And then I'm going to leave a space, which you don't have to do, but I like it to. Oops, I like it to be clean. And that's it. Now, if your wallpaper is in a wallpaper directory, then you're going to have to change the command to look like this. That, all I'm doing is directing it, directing it to wherever it is. So let's save the uh, 
configuration file. Let's close. I'm going to close out my terminal. I'm going to refresh the screen, restart. So there it is. I changed the wallpaper without adding another software application to do it. So in this video, I showed you how to change the wallpaper in Awesome Window Manager without adding another software application. Don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to smash that button and subscribe to the channel. I am the Linux Mansion.